Hey guys, welcome back to another banger. I know I don't typically do an intro like this. I just want to give my frequent viewers a quick update, okay? And if you're a new viewer, well, thank you for clicking on the video. And if you don't want to listen to me talk, you can just skip on through and get to the good stuff. Though, if you wouldn't mind, subscribe and give this video a like because it really isn't easy to be a YouTuber in these days. There's a lot of competition and it takes a lot of effort and consistency, but I'm willing to do it. Anyways, I just want to say, I know I've done mostly exploration content on this channel, but I want to broaden my horizons a little bit and stick my feet into some other types of content as well. It's still going to fall within crazy, adventurous, and just extreme content, but it's not going to be all exploration. Though if you're already a frequent viewer of mine, I know I'm a small channel, but I know there are some of you guys. And if you're a frequent viewer of mine, I guarantee you, you're still going to be entertained and love the content that we have coming because it is going to be nothing less than crazy. Anyways, enough talking. Let's get into this video, guys. things I will warn you guys about if you do decide to try to come to this place yourself being mindful that there are it's very possible that you get something in your tire I'm taking that risk right now just doing this video all right the entrance is coming up right here it's just so right in the open that nobody would think that this is the entrance to get into the abandoned subway but it is right here this is it folks such a narrow little path here I will say the underground subway is pretty much open to anybody to explore it is not illegal cops do not patrol it there's absolutely like no risk here everybody's allowed in the subway and my lights aren't gonna turn on why not there we go I've said that this place right here looks like somewhere they would take people and interrogate them right under that grate because the sunlight just shines so perfectly right onto that stone pillar. I could see it totally being a place from a movie. Let's continue on. I remember when I posted the TikTok on this place, people were talking about a car meet and I thought that would be the coolest freaking thing. I don't think anybody's actually going to do it just because of what I said earlier. It's very possible that you get something in your tire, but it's so cool guys just navigating your way through this. I mean, it's really awesome. But a history on this place, it first opened December 1st, 1927. And the last time it was used was in that same month in 1956. So it's been abandoned for about 70, 70 some odd years. The reason it was abandoned was simply just because more transportation methods became popularized. And it, there really wasn't a use for it anymore. And the city began, began to run low on resources and just couldn't keep up with it. And really, there was no purpose at to keep up with it. All right, guys, here's the main stretch. And then we're going to actually get taken up to the main part that goes underneath the bridge in Rochester. Such a cool place, guys. Wow. So we're going to get some nice lighting in here. Let's take a look. You hear the police sirens already going, somebody's in trouble. Look at that, guys. There's the car right there, looking sexy. I don't, I don't carry any cash, man. I'm sorry. I apologize. <sighs> Gotta be really careful, guys. I actually, <laughs> there is a homeless guy right up there. He asked me for a little change. Okay. 
You know, I understand, and honestly, I feel bad, but I, I really don't carry any cash on me at all. Like, uh, I'm serious when I say I carry absolutely nothing, guys. I don't carry cash, so. Oh, damn. Damn. <laughs> Jesus, God. Oh, that's so nasty. <laughs> I just tore the heck up out of that place. Oh, my God. Wow, it's a really nice day. End of the month of November. Upstate New York. I throw this thing off as far as we can here. Let's see. Yeah. Can't even see that land because of the sun. Maybe at least it's out. This part is crazy. A lot of people are sketched out. You know, friends I've came here and explored with, they get very sketched out by this part. Because everybody thinks it's gonna break, and I'm gonna be honest with you, I don't think it will break. Most of them are actually metal. So I'm just gonna walk on it casually. So it's right over the water, and the water here is not too deep. This is just, I believe it's like a water filtration system. Hello guys, we got some birds. What's good, dog? What's good, guys? Hey! I'm gonna get you! I'm gonna get you! Hey, you guys want to see some absolutely insane stuff? Whoa, that's moving, dude. <laughs> How about that? Here we go. There's a restaurant directly above us and you can smell the food coming down through the vents and it smells really good actually. I believe it's called the Dinosaur Barbecue. I remember one time I did come here, we actually could walk through this. The water wasn't deep like it is now, and we kind of walked up onto that, but water's too deep for that today, so. This part right here actually leads up to the street. So I was heading out the way I came in and I saw something that I think might be worth checking out. So let's see. Looks like a little, it's in the middle of the dark tunnel here. I mean, you can see the light barely down there, like right there. 
the heck is this thing? Is anybody up there? I see a little blanket up there, so. May, oh, you know what, guys? This might have been the uh, one of the ways in which they would go up to the, into the streets from down here. This is nobody up here. I don't want to be bugging anybody. This looks like quality comfort. It's kind of sad. Imagine sleeping down here. Yo, we freaking made it. Guys, that was actually an awesome adventure. I really like that place. It's one of my favorite spots just because you can drive the car in that makes it awesome. I'm going to include both entrances, not just the one we're parked in right now that I took my car in, but also the area in which I launched my car so you don't have to walk through the entire dark tunnel if you just want to experience the really cool part right there. Mm -hmm.